evidence of abuse and neglect. I made a motion for them to dismiss the case, and they didn't do it. To me, that's bizarre. Mm -hmm. That's where I met Jerry <laughs> at that hearing. That's right. Um, no evidence, and they still take your kids. We only got five minutes left with you ladies, but I'd like to invite you for a full hour to come to the uh, South uh, Austin offices we have, you know, whenever you can both get here uh, to, you know, talk to the full audience. We also simulcast on TV. But how do we, number one, beat this current bill and, and, and B, get involved with you guys and support what you're doing? Well, to, to veto this bill, you have to call the governor's uh, opinion line. That's number one, and that's 800-252-9600. And you can leave a message 24 hours a day. Um, if you want to talk to their switchboard and actually get a person, you can 512-463-2000. You can call your local representative and senator who may or may not really understand what they voted for because this was passed unanimously and say, hey, what are you doing to stop this thing that you probably didn't know was tacked All right, on? stay there. Back in one minute to start the final hour. Gary Franchi coming up, but I want to give those numbers out again, ladies, when we get back. Gary Franchi coming up. Uh, Jerry Lynn Ward, attorney. Joanna Scott, uh, activist. Give us those numbers again uh, for the governor's office, Rick Perry. We have millions of listeners. When we shut down the Hayes County phone systems. We didn't even get out their emergency numbers. It just shut the whole county down. What if tens of thousands of you all over the country call Rick Perry? At least you'll be aware we're aware of his activities. But call the state reps and others and say, how dare you vote on this? Uh, give us those numbers again, Joanna. Uh, it's the opinion line 800-252-9600. 800-252-9600, and then also the governor's switchboard, 512-463-2000. What, definitely... what about Kirk Watson? You know, Texas Monthly said he's the best senator. What a, wow. what a, what a besmirching uh, of the Texas Monthly. You, these people think they're saving children. They don't really understand or care, evidently, about the trauma that a child goes through when strangers come and ask, did daddy touch your pee-pee? Do you do this or that at home? These strangers come. Take their clothes off and look at them. Give them medical exams. This only should be happening when you know. They, they you did it to, to the lady's child who Absolutely. works here, and then they lied about it. And even the statesman writer said, no, first they admitted they did it, then they said they didn't. The I, mean, I mean, the statesman the caught them lying. They, they strip search little girls and do whatever they want. Yeah. I just got, while we were sitting here, I just got on my email my little update. I'm on the department's update. Uh, children waiting for adoption. I pop up my email. All the new kids up for adoption just popped up on my screen. That's what this is about. Yep. All the, the new kids they've snatched, yeah. The best way to protect children is to protect due, the due process rights of their parents. Yes. And ultimately then, because this is just a slippery slope, yes. and nobody's going to have any rights if we keep on in this right. direction. Well, what we about can't putting be doing it back on the CPS? I mean, the record they've got of abusing children, this is the worst place you'd want children to be, period. Right. What about them being investigated for a change? Because we know where all the smart pedophiles go. They don't go to parks to grab kids. They go become yeah. CPS workers. Yeah. Well, they, they're always covering that. Um, we, we bring that up all the time, that... Um, there are national studies that have been done that prove that if you actually even left the really abused kids in their homes, they'd actually be abused less in their home than they would be in the foster care system. Well, I mean, look, I was a carpet cleaner <laughs> for one summer, and I saw CPS homes. And let me tell you something. It's hell. And you can take one look at the people running them, and you're like, oh, my God, that's a demon. But and even, I, I mean, I, you're right. But even, I, well, I'm here to say that even in the best supposedly good home with good, well-meaning people that actually treat a child correctly, it's still a stranger. It's still a trauma. It no, still it totally should fries not be the happening. Kids and, and, and they want to break the family up. Uh, any yes. websites, Joanna Scott or Jerry Lynn Ward, we should check out? Uh, well, our website is www.parentguidancecenter.org. Parentguidancecenter.org. Parentguidancecenter.org. Um, National Coalition of Child Protection Reform, that's N 
ccpr.org. That's Richard Wexler. He does exposés on states. He's done a couple on Texas. Um, he's got postings about Senate Bill 1440 and um, his take on it. Um, Get those websites good. out again. Again, they're at parentguidancecenter.org and nccpr.org. Yeah, and, 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 go ahead. If you, if you want more details on this story, I would suggest the uh, Tim Lambert's blog, Right in Texas. He's the head of the Texas Homeschool Coalition. Mm -hmm. Also, and he's the been blogging mm -hmm. about this, and you can get more details about uh, the case there. Yeah, and if you go to a couple like our website, we'll have links to other the, the other groups that also have a lot of information about it as well. Yeah, but the Texas Homeschool Coalition, we've linked to those stories. Those are excellent. Mm -hmm. Well, Jerry yeah. Lynn Ward, we commend you for your courage and fighting uh, the pedophile rings and uh, joanna scott we commend you for being able to be around these people because i've i've gone and fought them some myself and being around them actually shakes somebody's psyche because they're so evil thank you so much ladies and i hope to get you in studio take care of yourselves thank you you bet